Hello everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Hope you're doing all good today. So today, if you remember from the previous episode, we're just going to be talking to the Baron about family matters. But it's something to do with the... Now let's have a look at what they were called. Looking in the bestiary. <coughs> Under the Curseman's botchlings. There we go. So we need to just remind ourselves of what they are. Um, it's their ugly little creatures. Like a undead baby kind of thing that's been... Reborn, zombified baby kind of thing, and they're bad against uh, Axie. So before we forget, where's Axie? There it is. We'll put Axie on, and we're gonna go jump back on Roach. We're gonna go past this guy, and we're gonna run up there. So we need to work out why the hell this house has been burned, and we're not gonna obviously run in too quick in case the horse gets scared or something. Right, we're gonna go see what this is, but we don't want to knock anyone over. Yeah. It'd be nice to them. Let's get a bit of a gallop on here. Ooh. Let's run up there and uh, try and work out exactly what's happened. And then we need to, we need to eventually find Oh, we got the armory here, haven't we? Right in front of us, we can talk to him about getting our weapons repaired. Oh, I guess there's a cut seeing this dead. Oswin, where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire? You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple? Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage, he takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable! We've got to save him, he'll burn alive! Him and the horses! See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Let's get the stable hand out. Door, open the door, okay. Damn it, won't budge. Probably bolted on the inside. Need another way in. Damn it, won't budge. Probably bolted on the inside. Right, let's go up here. Ooh. Um let's see if we can work our way around. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Just open the door, is that what it is? Get him out before he um, dies or something like that? We got him out. Sound about right? <laughs> they ran from me, didn't they? Let's, let's just keep punching him. Because apparently we can't get our... There we go. Knocked him out. Gets a bit of his own medicine today. Interest. Just what we want it. We need to talk. 
just just because you know <laughs> why would he be any different to anyone else if he's going to beat someone we uh, we're going to be talking to him all right feel bad for beating up a baron you'd think his men would come and save him but obviously not you beat them i never laid a finger on samara not once and on anna that's another story she always knew how to spark my ire. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Gotta admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. It seems. It's funny how it really was before we tell him that we know how to save him. Alright, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. Hmm. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's mm. like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Hmm. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. I thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. Then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed. Saw it. It lay there, tiny thing, defenseless, on bloody sheets, dead. And it was my doing. You murdered your own child. Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important, or maybe the fact that she lost it. What's what happening to his little helmet on his, his leg? What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. Just like that. Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. And she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. We sympathize with it. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? He doesn't need all the details. Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a loverkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob, a guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. A 
find the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Hmm. So we're gonna do it this way, we're gonna... The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. We're going to, um... Try and not kill it. We're going to try and do everything else. It's been a quiet episode so far. It's been. This is a whole five minutes worth of um, talking. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A few hours later. I, I feel sorry for the Baron. A bit further. He, he might have been a drunkard. He might have, you know, properly thrown him off, sent his people away. But he, he seems he means well, and he's put under a lot of stress. You give the child a name. No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Okay, so he's obviously put it down here, and well, I don't know what building was burning or where, whereabouts it was. Let's just get some hand fiber. Um, I believe it was probably going to be in a little area. Okay, there it is. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now, I've done wrong. Good. The graves dug up and empty. He doesn't show What's remorse. Watch things on the prowl. There he is. Look. Looks, looks like a massive tongue, baby. Face is quite funny. Turn the butcher king and the lover king. We're going to do this. He didn't want us to kill it. Merciful gods. Got a lot of teeth. You look quite cute without the teeth. Back to the fortress. What? This? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends and change it into a lubricant. Got some dark eye and all from that. We got actually ready in case. Really bad weather as well. It's quite fitting for this whole situation with the botchling. But I'm hoping we can change it. We don't have to kill things all the time. We're going to help him. Keep this thing alive. Oh, shit. Through that. Oh, fucking hell, what's he doing? Going through a phase of um, not being able to do it. Guy down. Ah. 
holding something fierce. Can't hold it. Turn it somehow. There we go. We stunned it, calmed it down with Axie. Which is obviously something we don't want to waste on anyone else. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. I told you, we're going to bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, I'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Hmm. Make sure it doesn't go too crazy. Oh, there's Roach. Okay. Looks like no one's out, which is kind of good. We don't want them to see. Need to hurry. Well, why don't I, why can't I seem to be to do anything? Let me hit you. Let's get some pepper going in. Got one of them. There we go. Don't know why we're trying to use fire on a ghost. Or a wraith, rather. Started stuck in things. It's like every time you go for a swing, you have to get them in quick succession. There we go. Oh, real. Go on, Roach. Back to your, back to your, back to your where you were before. It's a weird little thing. Chosen. So think of one. It's important. It's it's mm. a girl. What would Anna have named her? I don't know. Think of something that's a nice little name. Where was the building that burnt? Family matters. Here we go. Updated. Sorry about that guys, uh, you might have seen a bit of a delay there. Uh, I'm not sure how I've edited this, you may have all seen all that scrolling through. Someone entered in my room when we were in the middle of the cutscene, but we just continued. He's now been buried. This time, Daya should turn into a lubricant. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. Well, that's my child. The guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Summon the lubricant where the botchling is buried. Sit and wait for now. Midnight. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. 
Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Jeez, so weird looking thing. It's a fucking crazy thing. Wait a minute. Should I get on my horse? Yeah. I'm gonna get on Roach because we don't know how far it's gonna be. We, we can. I guess how whenever we get close, he's gonna close. He's going to just jump forwards. Well, we'll see where he takes us. Come on now. Just leave him a little bit of room. Okay, where's he going to go? All right, let's go through here. There's two people missing. I'm assuming that's Anna and Tamara. All right, now where's he gonna take us? Is it gonna be left, right? We're gonna go left this time. That's nice. I don't think we've been through here. Too difficult to kill. We're really starting to get um, damaged equipment now, and the pepper's not really doing much. We we'll have to eat one or two bits of raw meat, and then do something like go hunting. That's it, Roach. Because at the moment it's like um, <clears throat> we just don't have anything that we can do. pick it up or something. Examine down here. There's a there's a hoof print. It's, off. it's always happens. It's always really... If there's something on the floor, it's always horrible to get hold of. Here we go. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Get some water. And water. Let's have a look here. What's all this rubble? These weird things now. And Dragers. They don't even have any. Oh no. They do. Less than blue mutagen. Okay. Starting to find plants now. Yeah, let's put our sword away. Don't need it out. We don't need it out. Yet it wants to take it out for us. See, if you look on the left, we. Uh, with our gear, we've got one sword and our um, pl chest plate that's completely fucked. Something we need to look into and, um, you, know, you know, hopefully be able to repair. Where's he going? Okay, hey, this is a Rotland, a rot, rot fiend. All right, there we go. Apparently, we did a finisher on a guy who was on full health. So we 
quickly get round on him. Necros, okay. We might have fought one of these before. We're properly low on health at the moment. Let's get our silver sword out and make sure it is the silver sword we're using. There we go. See, are we are we going to do any of that? No. Okay. Examine. What do we have I mean, are we going to need to loot any of those things? Bones. Let's stop at the top again. Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Hmm. Giant claws. It wasn't a necrophage made these Bears? She was missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Hmm. Some big necrophage thing? Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes Let's have a look at some of the witchy gear. Forty six percent. One percent. Ah, okay. Use that on that. And we've repaired the armor. Apparently we can't use it on anything else. We do have a load of weapons here, so... <coughs> one four damage is 1%. Does it still do damage, though? That's the, what we need to work out. For example, this is you know, 17 higher on the damage from. Uh, this is minus four. It's it's confusing me at the moment. Right, oh, we meant to look at food, 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 food. Yeah, that will do. Some beer. We got some candy. All right, let's have a let's have a vitamin championship. Yep, that's definitely beer. So another bit. So we're right, because I don't see anything at the moment. So one candy. My case of candy actually lasts a long time. Let's see if we can stay away from that wolf. I mean, we can kill it. Oh no, it's coming for us. I don't know why we suddenly put our sword away and then got him out again. We stayed drunk for a long time. There we go, we kept our steel sword out that time. And then put it away again. I don't know why we put it away, we've got the blooming wolf here. Again, put it away. Maybe I'm pressing the key subconsciously. I'm just not thinking about it. So we've left the horse, but um, he's all right on his own, and uh, at the moment we kind of worked out that, you know. We kind of worked out that there's no need. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. What's in here? Rope ladder. Pointless, but yeah, probably worth something. Who's that? Another room. Go on now. What do you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. 
You don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna. Mm. Though anywhere is better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because. Because he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. It's just... What happened to Tamara's mother? <sighs> like this. I was awake in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark. Couldn't see past two L's in front of me. Not what an L is. It had risen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. Those damn birds, swarms of them coursing over the woods, raising the racket to make your ears. Hmm. Mrs. I think that guy wants to and say, say something. To herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms, for then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Hmm. I don't know what happened next. We don't need to know why he what helped him. Next? Grew even darker. Seems someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went to something to do with the wild hunt, I reckon. Then from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. Hmm. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. I think we've got enough information here. Thanks for your help. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. <laughs> She's called Boy. Just boy. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dan. Go in peace. Off he shoots, off she shoots back home. There you go guys. Alright, I hope you enjoyed and sorry if it might have been a bit of a weird episode stopping halfway through. Um, also obviously apologies that it may have been a bit of a quiet episode. There's been a lot of cutscenes in this one. And a little bit of finicky fighting but um, we're starting to get somewhere. We'll celebrate with one more beer before we go. And we'll be back up on full health for the next episode. Next episode should be out tomorrow, fingers crossed. Otherwise it'll be out the day after. Uh, later on um, today I believe we'll be getting out a Just Cause 3 episode as well so I hope you enjoyed, if you did you know what to do, hit that thumbs up uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so and drop a comment if you have any questions at all that you may wish to ask me I uh, hope you've enjoyed guys and peace we'll see you